October surprise, you've heard that term. It's political slang for a damaging news story that appears in the final days of a campaign. And this year we had one, one of the biggest October surprises ever. The New York Post, that's the oldest daily newspaper in this country, published a trove of documents showing that members of Joe Biden's family have been selling access to the former vice president to a number of foreign governments, including the communist government of China. Now, that's a blockbuster. But the rest of the media decided to kill it before you could read it. Social media companies banned their users from sharing the New York Post's reporting. Other news organizations simply ignored it. Yesterday, millions of Americans learned, some for the very first time, that the Biden family has indeed been deeply enmeshed in a series of sleazy international business deals that undercut America's core interests. We learned that there is an active federal criminal investigation into Joe Biden's son, Hunter, for that very reason. The Biden-Harris transition team broke the news in the form of a bizarre press release that informed us with a straight face that Joe Biden was, quote, deeply proud of his boy, Hunter, who, by the way, may have had some minor tax trouble that he will clear up soon the minute his accountant returns from Cabo. But no big deal. Happy holidays. Okay, guys, thanks for the heads up. But actually, and you may have guessed this part, turns out there's more. A report in Politico today reveals that Joe Biden's younger brother, Jimmy, is involved too. This was a family business, keep in mind. Jimmy Biden is also under federal criminal investigation for corruption in the hospital business. And independent media wouldn't be fooled by plausible deniability either. They'd demand answers. What exactly were you doing? Let's see the documents. But they didn't. When the New York Post published the outlines of this story, the media raced to find its own plausible deniability. Some reason, any reason, not to report the story. Any reporter who broke rank and decided to state the facts, was quickly disciplined and brought to heel. In an article published today in the Daily Beast, probably the single worst example of bad journalism on the internet, we learned that, quote, evidence of the larger Hunter Biden probe was apparent in the markings on a series of documents that were made public, but went largely unnoticed in the days leading up to the November election. Largely unnoticed, oh, of course. Middle of a presidential campaign, front page story about one of the candidates doing business with our main global enemy, but somehow nobody noticed. Just weird, unaccountable, how'd that happen?